This NFL free agency, we, we shouldn't even call it NFL free agency. We should call it AFC West free agency because they've been some of the biggest heavy hitters um, for the past, really for these past couple of days. Um, and, and this is no different because the Raiders, Raiders who signed Yannick Ngakwe last offseason, Raiders who just gave Max Crosby that big extension a uh, little less than a week ago, Raiders who just cut uh, Carl Nassib, uh, they brought on Chandler Jones. And Chandler Jones is one of the best pass rushers in the NFL, straight up, straight up. Extremely productive when he was with the Cardinals. He was still productive even back. I forget that he was even back with the Patriots a lot of times. Uh, he's been around the league for a little minute, but he's continued to remain a highly successful pass rusher. Um, and, and with him, I know two years ago he had that neck injury that kept him out for a while, but then he came back with a vengeance and he did his thing. Um, and it was looking like last season with the Cardinals, there was going to be him and J.J. Watt. It was like, oh, what a tandem. But then J.J. Watt, he ended up getting hurt. But anyway, so Raiders continue to show like, hey, we trying to rush the pass. Hey, we, we trying to keep this thing moving. Hey, we trying to get it done. And I was thinking like, man. When, when they first announced this signing, I'm thinking, oh, man, what a rotation that's getting ready to be uh, the Raiders' defensive line and pass rushes. You got Crosby, you got Yannick Ngagwe, and now you got Chandler Jones, but Raiders say, hold up, oh, uh, we don't know about all that. Because they traded, they're trading Yannick Ngagwe to the Colts. So it's like, ah, oh. it was too good to be true. And I was wondering how they were going to work that out um, because Unique was their, their big, I mean, his deal last year wasn't anything like crazy, but with Chandler Jones, I, they said it's supposed to be like 17 mil per. Whew. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And now by the time you see this video, the contract details should probably will have come out by then, but they're not fully out right now. So we'll see how that goes down. Uh, but good move by the Raiders. Now I'm really interested to see what happens with Derek Carr? Because there's been a lot of talk of, around him. Are the Raiders going to end up paying him that QB contract? Or are they going to end up moving on from Derek Carr? Because there hasn't been, I haven't really heard anything surrounding Derek Carr this offseason. We've been hearing about so many other quarterbacks, especially ones that are in the last year of their deals. But around Derek Carr, you just, you hear nothing. So that could be a good thing. But that could also mean a lot of other stuff too. So we just got to be patient and wait it out and see what goes down.